Coal puts out almost two times more CO2 when compared to natural gases. It is one of the dirtiest energy sources out there, yet the United States still has plans to reopen old coal mines just to create jobs. So I decided to create a photo shoot to campaign against it. This guys is part two of the journey. Hope you're enjoying it so far. With only one day left before our photo shoot, we decided to make the most out of it by crawling around a junkyard for additional props. Francesca, one of the Wasteland Warriors, invited us to her father's junkyard to borrow any parts and accessories that we might need, so long as we returned them. I'm not really much of a mechanic, so I had very little idea what I was looking for, so we focused simply on gathering the largest, most industrial looking props. This is all you have? Jeez. I thought you'd have more. Come on. <laughs> With that out of the way, it was shoot day. We found ourselves in a crazy mining museum called Ferropolis, also known as the City of Iron. For almost 50 years, this very spot had been an open pit coal mine, removing mountaintops extracting 100 million tons of coal a year. But with the advance of newer, cleaner technologies, the mine was eventually converted into a museum and event space with diggers and dredgers still intact for all to visit. Thanks to a few phone calls from the Wasteland Warriors, we had somehow secured permission to shoot there for a couple days. Till I figure out what to do, no one else can do anything. Where's my 16 or 35, Adam? I don't know. I need that lens. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest challenge would be to figure out how to make three different photos look completely different and dynamic with a single unmovable object. Unfortunately, there wasn't all that much time to think with the Wasteland Warriors eager to get their tents and props set up in position so that they could focus on their costumes. Taking an educated guess, I told them to set up the tent perpendicular to the excavator and cross my fingers. He made a mistake and I was yeah. right. He was wrong. Yeah. Yes. What happened? <laughs> well, I said we need the shorter poles for the tent, for the roof. I, I said we need the longer ones. Yes, but, but yeah. he was wrong. Yeah, I always like the longer ones. Yes. I like longer poles. Okay. As the Wasteland Warriors slowly set up their camp with their weapons and props, I turned back to my equipment to see what weapons we had at our disposal. Um, yeah, and over there I brought two brown color move kits. I personally have two brown color move kits. And then we just got two more Cirrus L's, so we really have all the lighting in the world that we're going to possibly need. Since each warrior was going to take a different amount of time to get ready, I decided that rather than waste time, why not just shoot an individual portrait of each character to thank them for participating in my crazy project. Since I've always liked the look of dramatic portraiture, that meant getting down low and using the architecture of the excavator to help create leading lines. I also try to focus on creating images that are cinematic, which means having the subjects pop off the background. I got this over here, a quick little backlight. It's pretty awesome. It's basically like an overpowered speed light that can put out 800 watts, recycle really fast, and create consistent lighting. Cable free! Besides the backlight, I decided to sandwich my models in between two soft boxes. The lights create soft directional lighting that really helps make the subjects pop, regardless of what position that they take. The final touch for the portraits was to add a slight twinge of magic, and for that, I whipped out my trusty $30 airflow indicator. Check out the description in the link below, also known as a dragon puffer. It's crazy what you can do with a tiny little bit of smoke. We have one more shot to take for our portraits, and uh, we'll be good and ready to go. Like magic. With the portraits out of the way, it was time to prepare for the actual photo shoot. It was actually more of the same, except that it would involve shooting pretty much all of the models at the exact same time with way more props and setup. Baby, a family, and some really, really big smoke grenades. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Next week is a final reveal for our cinematic piece along with the final photographs. So be sure to come back this time next week to check out the final product. It's been a lot of work putting this product together and I think it tackles a really, really important issue. So I hope to see you guys back here this time next week. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys around next time.